So we'll just start, obviously, for Owen against the Seawolves so far this season. What do you expect from your team this weekend uh, in the last two games you've had? Yeah, I mean, hopefully desperation. I mean, we, we don't have a large margin for error just with uh, where we're at in the national, um, you know, scenario. So we've got to make sure that we're playing good hockey. And every game that we've played them has been a closer a closer game, right? So each game's been progressively closer. I mean, we didn't score an even strength goal against them when we went down there and played. So it's going to be a tight game, and we've got to make sure that we're ready for it. Alaska usually doesn't get to see too many home and home series. Yeah. Um, you know, what's that going to be like preparing for the trip down to Anchorage, the turnaround to come back to Fairbanks and play, you know, 24 hours later? Yeah, it's different. I mean, hopefully we're giving ourselves the best chance to win, you know, going down a day early and then being able to get back on uh, the late night flight right after the game on Friday. So these scenarios where, you know, where you need to be getting rest, you need to be eating right. Uh, your travel needs to be good. You hopefully can win the travel war against uh, against Anchorage and give the guys maybe a little bit of extra legs. You talk about uh, just where your team needs to be in the second half of the season. How do you feel the two weeks uh, of bye weeks have helped give you that extra preparation? Yeah, I mean, hopefully it has helped, right? You get to work on some different things, especially the first week. You do basically a bunch of different stuff that you never really get a chance to work on. So, you know, hopefully that gives us that opportunity. I mean, they had two weeks off as well. So, you know, hopefully we did a little bit more in the bye weeks to, to give ourselves the best chance to win. But, you know, ultimately the real test is going to be over the weekend and, you know, seeing how we come out on Friday. And I know you're not uh, focused on Saturday yet, but we'll do it all in one swing. What's the emotion going to be like uh, Saturday night? You know the Governor's Cup is going to be in your hands when it's presented Saturday night. Just that emotion of having Gov Cup back and celebrating with the fans again. Yeah, I think it'll be a great, a great night. It'll be a great night for the community and for the fans. Uh, you know, those are nights too that you need to win those games, right? I mean, I was. And I know we've talked about it before, but a part of that team in, I want to say it was 17-18, where you know, we won the first four games and then got swept at home the last two games. I mean, that was one of the saddest Governor's Cup pictures that I think I've ever seen. So it's, it's definitely important that we put our uh, be best foot forward so that night can be a true celebration. And, you know, we've uh, had a good run the first four games, but obviously we have, you know, bigger things in mind and need to make sure that we're prepared this weekend. Um, you know, like we've talked about kind of all season long, as we're entering the final series of Gov Cup, how do you feel it's shaped up to be since its return? It's been great. You know, I, you know, Anchorage is a very competitive team this year, and I think surprised a lot of people just on the national scene as well. And you know, just came back from a road trip where you know they swept Lowell and you know played played uh, Maine to two two one goal games, one in overtime, so they could have been four on all on that trip. So, uh, you know, Anchorage has done a fantastic job. They're well coached. They play very hard, um, have some good sticks on their team. They're going to be a threat in the future and a uh, threat this weekend. And, you know, it, I have a lot of respect for what they've done over there. I think uh, the only other question that I've got, like you said, um, finishing the, the second half strong, you know, how do you instill in your team to take it game by game um, and kind of silence that long-term goal but still keep it in mind. Yeah, I mean, I think over the first couple of weeks, I think you want to instill that, right? Because you want to have that, you know, that big dream, that big picture in mind. I think it's important to understand that, you know, if you have success, you're going to be able to have a chance to play in the national tournament. But then as you get closer into the game and we get into Friday, I mean, you know, without winning Friday, you don't set yourself up to be able to do that. So every game is like game seven. We have, don't have a lot of margin for error. We need to have a really good last 12 games to give ourselves an opportunity. Uh, and it starts on Friday. And, you know, if we don't win that game, then you put yourself behind the eight ball.